Harrison Health System in La Crosse and its partners will be able to continue cancer treatment research through a $15.6 million grant. This is the second time the National Cancer Institute has given this award to help patients in Wisconsin. News 8's Mal Meyer joins us now to explain how this is advancing cancer research. Mike Gunderson Health System, Marshfield Clinic Health System, and ThetaCare are part of the program that is receiving the money. The hope is that they will be able to continue the work that they've started in continuing offering the best and latest cancer treatment options. This is the second time the National Cancer Institute has awarded a grant to the Wisconsin National Community Oncology Research Program. I think what it really says is that Gunderson and its partners have really proved themselves uh, around the country. The federal agency previously awarded a five-year grant to the Wisconsin Cancer Clinical Trial Network. Before that grant ended in July, Dr. Edel says they had between 100 to 150 clinical trials going on at any given time. More often than not, these are trials that uh, are looking at What's the standard of care for cancer treatment and can we do better? The trials include patients who have anywhere from very early to late stage cancer. They can try treatment that would not be offered to them otherwise and help them live longer. And for many patients, the treatments that we're offering now are not only more effective, but they're less toxic. For example, traditional treatment in a lot of cases has called for chemotherapy. But what they have seen is a large shift to using immunotherapy, using the immune system to fight cancer. Patients participating in trials five years ago were some of the first patients to ever receive some of these cutting edge treatments that we're now starting to use as standard of care. The new six year grant will help the researchers continue to build on that progress and bring their advancements to more patients. This is patients being offered the best possible treatment that we think uh, is available, and it's the best possible treatment across our country. Dr. Edel says that a lot of the funding comes from foundations, like the Gunderson Medical Foundation, to cover research costs. This grant will help add resources that just wouldn't be available in any other way. Mike? Thanks a lot, Mal. Since 1979, more than 1,100 Gunderson Health System patients have participated in clinical research studies for cancer. More information about these trials can be found on its website.